Colton Wong is on the free agent market, and for the first time in hot stove history, we have two major league players born in Hawaii <laughs> on the air at the very same time. Good morning, Colton. Morning, guys. Thanks for having me on. Great. You know, Colton, I was just uh, uh, wondering, uh, you're in Arizona right now, but um, are you getting ready for spring training? Uh, do you know when spring training is going to happen? It's got to be difficult. It is. It is very difficult. Obviously, we don't know with you know the whole COVID thing still going on. So, just wanted to come to Arizona, kind of get my body ready, start getting my mind around you know possibly being somewhere else this year, and uh, you know just excited to see you know what the future holds for me. Yeah, I mean, first time through free agency, as we see on the screen, all eight of your big league seasons with the Cardinals. It's the only uniform that you've ever known. Uh, give us your thoughts and your mindset regarding being a free agent for the first time. Yeah, um, you know, it's one of those things where. Uh, going through it for the first time, it's it's cool to see other teams and how excited they are with me. Um, you know, when you play for one team your whole career, you only hear uh, one side. You know, you, just the coaches and, you know, the fans on that side. But to hear, you know, everyone kind of coming out and, you know, expressing how excited they are, you know, would they, how excited they would be to have me. So, um, you know, definitely a cool experience for me for sure. You know, Colton, one of the things, and I know what you can do offensively, but I just really enjoy watching you play defense. You're a magician out there. Uh, did you have someone that helped you defensively when you were young, or is it kind of a natural thing? Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, Jose Okendo has been one of the main guys to help me in, in, in my career. Um, you know, when I got to St. Louis, uh, first thing he told me was, hey, you know, I, I know you can hit a little bit, but I want you to win me a gold glove. And, uh, you know, I love being challenged. I love always... Uh, when people would doubt me in certain situations. So this is something that I, I kind of took to myself to learn and, and really buy in. And, you know, Jose was right there with me the whole time. And, you know, I was able to really, you know, buy in a second base and make it my own. It's easy for us, uh, you know, who follow the free agent market, Colton, to kind of see you in a, ver a variety of different circumstances here. A lot of teams would be interested is what I'm trying to say. Uh, are you closer to signing or do you still think that that day is perhaps down the road a little bit? What's your timeline? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously I would love to sign as fast as possible. There's a lot of teams that are interested. You know, we have some offers on the table right now. Just trying to feel it out uh, which one is the best one for me and my family at the time. Um, you know, obviously St. Louis is still there. Uh, there's a lot of other teams that are exciting. Um, but it's just one of those things where now, you know, being in my 30s and, you know, being uh, middle towards the end of my career, you know, I'm trying to find something that fits with me and an organization that wants to win and, and win now. So, you know, hopefully find something like that very soon. You know, Colton, Matt uh, mentioned that we both were born in Hawaii, but I grew up on the East Coast. And I know for players that I played with, Sid Fernandez and others, that uh, – Growing up in Hawaii presents some challenges getting off the island to uh, to have a major league career. What are those challenges? Yeah, I mean, you know, just the price of living in Hawaii is so expensive. Um, you know, in order to get seen, you, you probably have to travel somewhere. I mean, if it's not the main island, you got to go to California or someplace on the West Coast. So, you know, if if your parents don't have, you know, the means to really allow you to do that, man, you got to take whatever you can and, you know, make the most of it. Oh. <laughs> Make the most of it. Um, you know, I was fortunate to have, you know, my parents, you know, sacrifice so much for me to get me out to California every once in a while to get seen. But, you know, it was tough. You know, that's just how it is. Why you understand that and you know that when your opportunities come, you got to take it and, and, you know, make the best of it. Yeah, but what, what about what about the idea of going to Young's Fish Market all the time and having your <laughs> own menu item? Do they charge you for that? Like and tell us what that is. <laughs> Yes, yes, I did this. Uh, me and Young's Fish Market got together. We made this Hawaiian plate, which is a uh, lao lao, which is uh, like a luau leaf uh, wrapped in, you know, you have a piece of pork wrapped in a luau leaf. And then we had char siu uh, meat, which is, a, a, I'd say, an Asian delicacy almost. And then we had rice and a little bit of spicy poke on the side. And, man, I don't care where you're from in the world. If you, you got a bite of, you know, that plate, it will change your mind for sure. And not to mention, uh, because of this uh, this menu item, you donated some uh, well-needed funds for Make-A-Wish Hawaii based on the sales of your plate. That's really a cool thing. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, man. I mean, these kids back home, like I said, you know, the means back home, it's very hard to come by. You know, families struggle day in and day out with just trying to live a normal life. So, you know, any, anytime I can bring any kind of um, – help to these families uh, that's all i want to do you know born and raised in hawaii love being there so i always try to help out well congratulations to bring that ohana feeling uh, uh, to major league baseball and to the make-a-wish kids i was just wondering is there is there a team without giving it away 
Um, what do you see? I, I think that right now you're playing your best baseball of your entire career. Uh, where do you see yourself five years from now? Man, that's that's tough. You know, obviously with the market right now, um, deals aren't coming out like they used to, you know. So just trying to figure out what fits best for me and my family uh, in, in the time slot that they're kind of throwing out there. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to be on a contender somewhere, you know, in, in five years still playing and, and doing what I can do. Like you said, you know, I feel like the best baseball is coming right now for me. I've really, you know, found who I am as a player. Uh, bought into you know my type of game and I feel like you know with me on a winning team uh, that's, that's a good combination to have you know I'm going to bring my defense every single day and and that grit to play the game hard and, and show these guys that you know I mean business hmm. you know I think of this with uh, NFL players and and Tua Tungavailoa comes to my mind they talk about how with his family in Hawaii and playing in Miami professional sports you're talking about a big time trip Right. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a lot of time on an airplane is the part of the country in your decision making process at all. Would you uh, is California more appealing because it's closer to home or does that not matter? It doesn't matter. Um, you know, my wife is from the um, East Coast. She's from Ohio. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, you know, we're just trying to find something that fits best for me and my family. Obviously, you know, I hope that my family grows eventually and, you know, we can start getting kids and whatnot. So. You know, for me, it's just finding something that fits right for her and me and, you know, eventually our, our whole family. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out a way to get you to Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> that was my agenda. <laughs> Full disclosure here. Hey, what's the offseason like for you workout wise? We're talking a lot about that this week. Michael Lorenzen of the Reds has been sharing his workout videos with us. Has your workout yeah. changed since you were, uh, you know, a, a, a kind of a guy breaking into the big leagues eight years ago? Or are you doing the same thing? Oh, it's, it's changed. I mean, obviously, you know, being smarter and not working harder is a big thing for me. Um, but I still get after it. You know, I work out three times a day. And then on Tuesday, Thursdays, usually I have my sprint work and, you know, my speed work because that's, that's a big part of my game. So, you know, really staying on top of it, staying ready and, and trying to get as much uh, A-Bs as I can, you know, trying to see some lives and, and just, you know, being ready for the season. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Cause if, if free agent goes long for me and, you know, I'm stuck, you know, trying to find a team, I need to be ready just in case that, you know, my name is called. I can hop in and, you know, be ready to go. So try to stay ready as much as I can for Don't sure. Don't sell yourself short. Any team yeah, that man. signs Colton Wong is instantly much better. I'm having a hard time I thinking that you're it. still on the market, but uh, <laughs> somebody's going to get themselves a good player. Hey, Colton, we appreciate the time. Great, uh, great work with Make-A-Wish Hawaii, and uh, we're fans, man. Way to go.